Blessings and shalom, everyone. I'm here to be the umpteenth video of how to deal with a narcissist or a toxic person or family member in your life. Um, to come on and tell you what no other video will tell you and how to deal with toxic, uh, toxic, abusive, narcissist people, be it family members or whomever. And let me be upfront. Uh, because when I tell people what they don't want to hear, I must not get it. I must not know what the flipping flip I'm talking about. Therefore, I'm a judging, judgmental this or that who don't understand your situation, who don't know your heart, who just haven't experienced what you have to be saying anything. And I get that because most videos who tell you how to deal with your toxic, narcissist, abusive parent or spouse or whomever, you know, you like it more because... And how to deal with those certain people in your life and the way they advise you, these YouTubers, and how they advise you to do so. It is only keeping you in your anger. It's only making you hang on to your hate. It's only validating how you want to steady wallow in your total lack of empathy for monsters who have been monsters to you. It makes you continue in your own justified unforgiveness that you feel because how abused you were, how wronged you were, how hurt you are, how abandoned, and how the awful rest of D, E, F, G, H, and I were to you. Therefore, yes, definitely people who have been toxic, who have been very wrong to you, they deserve all of your negative emotions that they started, that they created in the first place in you because of how rotten and terrible they are or were in these videos always recommend everything under the sun except the only cure the only way the only solution everything else they suggest keeps you in a state where god well really you are going to have a big problem on your hands when you meet god or stand before him or they will offer suggestions in dealing with narcissists toxic abusive family members or friends in a way it's, it's going to cost you lots of money and or affect your sobering mental condition in a coping mechanism way but they only offer a temporary fix that won't work that does not work and let me say this be before i proceed because if you look on the screen you will see a youtube thumbnail that says uh divorcing a, a, a narcissist giving you guys to to divorce a narcissist unless your narcissist spouse is a chronic cheater to where after you confronted him or her about their cheating ways, they still told you in your face, I'm still going to cheat on you or still does cheat on you, regardless if they told you they would stop or not. Unless your narcissist is a, a spouse who is a chronic cheater who refuses to stop cheating or in the way of an abandonment, your narcissist spouse has abandoned you to where even the FBI can't even locate them or if your narcissist spouse has died. Only in infidelity, abandonment, and death that your that that revolves around your narcissist spouse is the only outlet for divorce. I want to say that, and you can pause the the video and read the scriptures that support infidelity, abandonment, and death uh, if you want to read. But only three means to remarry anyone is infidelity abandonment and death narcissism is not grounds for a divorce just because you you married a narcissistic male or female that is not grounds for a divorce unless they are pro they are pro they are exhibiting infidelity or they have abandoned you or they are they're dead they're died they have died those are the only outlets i just want to make that clear and I don't care if you're toxic, narcissist, abusive parent, spouse, or whomever is Satan in the flesh to you, who has been Satan in the flesh to you. If you think by distancing yourself from their, their toxic behavior that you are free and happy, or you think you, you know, by distancing yourself uh, and it had to take your therapist to now fix you and you're fixed and now cured. You know, if you think distancing yourself through, you know, pills that made it better or makes it better or whatever drug you did or still do to cope with the toxic, narcissist, abusive person you got dealt with in life, you are kidding yourself. 
I just talked to several people who are claiming they're free and happy from their toxic, narcissist, abusive, whomever in their life who they wish the vilest part of hell upon while speaking at me in the most rudest, meanest manner of their very core of their hate towards the, the, the toxic, narcissist, abusive person, person, all the while professing freedom and peace that they have now no longer dealing or having anything to do with those people. While being now hateful, spiteful, vindictive, and miserable people no better than those toxic, abusive, narcissist people who were all those things to them. Why is that? Because of these channels. Because of these channels, they got their validation in their hurt that they still carry, the pain that they still carry, the hate, the anger, the unforgiveness they still carry from people who wronged them. Videos that did nothing to advise them in a way of deliverance, repentance, forgiveness, but cradle all those negative emotions. They supported all those negative emotions, making other things more the alternative and the solution instead. If I suggest to pray for your narcissist spouse or parent or whoever wronged you and still love them and you come at me in an angry f you defense congratulations you're no better than them and you are not healed you are not good if you can be just as mean to me as they were to you in a in a suggestion of you loving them in spite of who they are to you in reality i am in an an almost 18 year toxic narcissist abusive marriage if it was not by the grace of god i would have killed him by now that is not a joke or just some expression i'm not being funny or at the least without god i would be in adultery because i would have divorced him by now with no grounds to divorce but my life is not ideal i live with the most negative tortured miserable narcissistic soul you will ever meet who's always on that mode all the time but to him, his stuff, none of it never stinks. I'm lied on. I'm talked about. I'm verbally and emotionally sounded and abused on a regular. I'm not respected, not even well regarded. So the target to bullseye in the way of destruction of my self-worth, my self-esteem, even my own motherhood is always in practice. But he swears he loves me like no other man does. So here's how I'm going to tell you how to deal with people who abuse you who are very toxic to you, who are complete narcissists, who wrong you, even though you might not be in the same situation I'm in, possibly. But here's the cure and simple solution. You have to acknowledge and pray for more acknowledgement to be made known to you also of all the negative emotion that is now a part of you, that is that, that fills your heart for the person who put all of that in there. You have to acknowledge your your hate, your pain, your, your hurt, your shame, your guilt, your unforgiveness, your contempt, your anger that was created by those who wronged you and go to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach in prayer and surrender it all to him upon repenting of it because it is, it is a simple practice and, and it is simple to live in these, in these emotions that come from our heart that we feel but you have to surrender your heart feel with all that negativity and say god i surrender i repent deliver me from my hate my anger my my unforgiveness and whatever else you got and ask god to create in you a new heart that loves how he loves you have to want to change your heart condition for those people who wronged you. You have to want to rather be able to love them in spite of as Jesus loves you in spite of. You have to want to let go and still be able to love those who will possibly not ever change and treat you like a piece of garbage. And guess what? It can be done in order to coexist with my abusive spouse. I had to deal with my feelings that I didn't want that I didn't want to uh that I didn't think would be possible for me to do out of obedience of father Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach who was telling me to remain in my marriage and not to leave I had to ask desperately how the heck do you want me to stay with this dude when I don't even like him let alone love him 
and father yeshua first started with making me realize i had to start dealing with me and what was in my heart i hated my spouse i had unforgiveness i had contempt for him i could not stand his guts and it was justified to me because he was an a-hole he did a he did a-hole things to me but i wasn't justified brothers and sisters in my feelings because to jesus christ i have been an a-hole to him i have done a-hole things to him while he's not ditching me while he hasn't given up on me or giving me what i deserve while he still loves me while he's still pouring out his grace and his mercy upon me and i have to do the same with my spouse so when i started dealing with all the negative gunk that was inside of me that he constantly water to sprout to bloom and blossom over the years when i finally acknowledged all the pain in me and confessed each pain and, and emotional sin i then asked god for his forgiveness because i expressed those sins of hate and anger and unforgiveness i had carried them out i had acted them out towards my spouse even towards god because of my 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 feelings towards my spouse and i was wrong when you do that in the eyes of god you are wrong so when i acknowledge and then confess of those sins i ask god to deliver me of those emotional sins i can't coexist i can't love if i still have hate and unforgiveness inside of my heart therefore i have to give those things up i have to surrender those things and i have to want to surrender those things and all i have really known really are those emotions those feelings most of my life they become like close friends to you in a way but when you surrender in prayer to let them go when you exalt god's way over your life over the over the will you have been following and that has led you to nowhere or has had you stuck in the same position for years on end when you let go of the will and surrender it into god's hands that's truly major brothers and sisters that takes a lot of courage and faith and god 100 percent absolutely loves that of us that can only come from a place of total surrender not covered in bs or a lie but you saying your will lord i want to do this and try this your way and how you prescribe it for me against my feelings of pain against what i think and believe but take this pain this hurt this anger this unforgiveness or, or whatever you may have in your heart ask the lord to take it from you and and even be transparent to say you know i know it has been a close coping friend of mine but acknowledge that it really hasn't and it's not what you want it's not how you want to go on living in all that unforgiveness and hate and bitterness and contempt father does not want that for you and acknowledge it's not what his will is for you and you know that and tell father i don't know how to deal with this i don't know how to feel the way i should versus how i really feel for this certain person right now but i surrender to what you tell me to do and how to do it that's full surrender brothers and sisters and it's going to take a fight because the flesh at the same time of your prayer of your surrendering your flesh is going to be like what the heck are you doing you can't believe in this after everything he or she has done to you you have every right to feel like this and that what are you doing your flesh is going to come for your faith that you are trying to exemplify and you're surrendering unto god all that unforgiveness all that hate because your flesh is your flesh is used to being dominant it's used to running the show and it's really difficult for most people to choose another will over their own because when you surrender to god you lose control you're surrendering control in that moment it's you saying lord you control it help me to live under your control because your own control has been in the way where we exhibit fleshly hate and unforgiveness but control by the way of the spirit especially when you don't often practice that over your flesh it's new it's different more importantly it will be harder yes but with god and only by him it can be done it can be achieved it can be accomplished you have to be delivered from these things through acknowledgement confession and repentance that way god can remove that heart of stone and give you a new heart of flesh able to love and when you do that you are going to be tested even more those who wrong you until they find christ are still going to come after you but you have to now with a new heart learn to love them through their persecution towards you you have to ask for the power of the holy spirit to help you deal with them every time in a way that you're not contending with them in a way that 
when they're being used by the enemy to come at you, you're not you're not able to to take back your hate and unforgiveness for them. You have to be able to be around them. And when Father gives you a new heart, you will have the capacity to be or want to and have no problem being around them because anger or hate is not there. It won't be a constant factor to worry about being around those people. You can go you can go be around them and not feel those feelings, but they will test you like they have always done and that's when you press even harder in prayer asking for leadership and guidance of the holy spirit because as long as they're not in christ they're always going to test you but when that happens give god glory for first thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18 says rejoice always pray without ceasing and everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ even in your affliction suffering pain persecution give thanks for the Lord allowed it to teach you, to train you, to build you up for his honor and for his glory. Trials suck. Yes, they do. But they better us, which means they make us better if we learn from them. And we might slip up, but we get back up to repent and strive towards doing better. And it's easier not to go through none of these things and just feel justified in our feelings and leave toxic people to themselves, inwardly hoping they get what they deserve like most people do. But that is not the way to deal with toxic, abusive, narcissist people. That's not the way to, to heal from toxic, narcissist, abusive people. You won't find peace and freedom and joy in that. The only, the only one who can give you that is God. I'm still with my abuser. I'm still in my marriage. I have no grounds for divorce. But I'm battling by the spirit of long suffering, perseverance, and endurance God gives me daily for the sake of his unsaved soul. I'm not on life support anymore in this marriage, nor am I literally feeling like I'm about to put him on life support in this marriage. Hallelujah. But I'm able to battle in the way of Christ and in, in, in the, the spirit with, with my love for the wicked person he is still intact. You can either let them take you down or by Christ, you can live to take them on in the way of Christ because they're they're just as mean and horrible to God as they are to you. Yeshua told me years ago regarding my own spouse, telling me he can't give you what he doesn't give me. So I know until he becomes saved, he's going to give me everything opposite of Christ because if he was in Christ, he could love me, but he is not. But Father, and now me too, still wants him saved and loves him. In spite of the person he is, in spite of how unsaved he isn't, in spite of how abusive and narcissist he is, Father is now using me in the position he helped me to get into to help save him or, or to at least plant a seed to him by how I shine my light and exemplify love to the monster he is even in the moment he's dogging me out. And all glory to God because he gives me the strength to endure it, to overcome it. I don't hate my husband. I pity him and I pray more for him because he's lost. He's He really is. But so are the other toxic, narcissist, abusive people in your life. That's why you got to stop letting them take you down. You might not have nothing to do with them. But if you allow hate for them to still fill your heart, they are still taking you down. You are not free. You are not even good. God forbid if if you should die. You cannot die in unforgiveness. You cannot die in hate. You cannot die in contempt of anybody. And God can take away anger, hate, and unforgiveness. He can equip you to do that. But you have to believe in him. You have to want that. You have to seek that. You have to believe in his power and stop exalting your own feelings over him and everything else. Aren't you tired of it? Don't you want a better love to fill you up instead? Let it go. Surrender it to God. Seek deliverance. It's the only way to deal with narcissists, abusive, toxic people. God is the only cure, the only way, the only solution, the only deliverer from that. That will give you peace and freedom and joy from everything and anyone. But you have to be willing to lay it all down for him and his way and give up your control and allow him to control you. Allow him to lead and guide your steps. And in my case, I'm bearing my cross with my with, with the spiritual tools in Christ to help me to endure and overcome my toxic partner. I have no grounds for divorce. I'm not in love with my spouse, but I'm making a sacrificial love to stay and endure for the sake of his salvation. That's 1 Corinthians 7, 14. Go read it. There are some of you who can free yourselves and distance yourselves from abusive people like your parents or such. But if your heart is still in malice, if it is still defiled, you will never be far enough free enough not even good you have to forgive these people as father forgives us you know my own mother was never mother of the year uh, 
but now and she has passed away but you know how she came up ultimately i know she could not give me what she didn't have uh she she didn't have what she never got herself and in my situation she is she is very responsible for what she she didn't do but at the same time i can't really fault or blame her because my mother had demons that were never dealt with i'm not excusing her behavior but guys toxic narcissist abusive people are the way they are for a reason it's not your fault even though it might be your lot but i have a new heart in christ to extend some compassion because obviously some people didn't receive what they should have to love us in the way they should and some simply can't but you don't have to be still stuck in a place like they are yeah they're still the same horrible people but you don't have to be still the same wounded victim still the same hateful unforgiving angry person because of who they are there are people still in their hate and inflicting others unapologetically but you don't have to stay in a state where that affects you to where you can't stand to be around them or you hate them or you get so angry with them with god you can have the power to be in the same room exemplifying love even if they are calling you foul names it won't it won't affect you now it won't feel too good because you're human at the end of the day but you can still sh shine your light and love of who you are with the love for them for those who wrong you the bible says we are to love our enemies and pray for those who wrong us only god can give you a reality to where you can do that otherwise you won't exemplify that or feel like exemplifying that to your enemies or to those who wrong you you have to seek the one and only true and living god to help you deal with toxic abusive narcissistic people period and i pray you take this to the lord and seek him out because those other videos that only keep you complacent and feeling justified in your hate and your anger and your unforgiveness you have towards toxic abusive narcissist people they will hinder you and they will cost you greatly and in the eyes of god you are wrong and no better hanging on to those emotions please get free and find peace within your heart and love find love that only god can pour into that please try god for yourself surrender unto him what you feel that is how you are delivered from toxic people that is how you are healed from toxic people that is how you will be healed and delivered and and, and saved from those who wronged you i love you all please reach out if you need to uh my information is always in the description box box if there's any question please feel free i love you all blessings and shalom